Hello and welcome to the Rambling Peach. We're getting up more walnut. Well, we're out here again. We're gonna attempt to get up some more of this old walnut tree. We got most of it up, but we got these big pieces. We're gonna see if we can get them up with the lift truck. So y'all hang in there. And there's old Sweet Meat. His name is Lightning. And he's probably 25 or so years old, but he is a sweetheart. And everybody in the world needs a horse like Lightning. He would do anything for you. This horse has stepped under me before to keep me from falling off. I've had Lightning since he was three years old, and he is a Pasifino Morgan wrecking horse. And he has a natural gait. It doesn't matter how you trim his feet. He can rack on too. And of course, guys, Rosie has to get in on the action.
I just came out to tell y'all a little story about the old walnut tree. We're getting it up, you know, because, and we're burning it in the fire. Uh, this old walnut tree has been around here since my mom and her aunt first came to live here at this place. When they bought this place in 1948, I believe, and so that tells you it's been a long, long time, guys. But this old walnut tree was a large tree back then. And we have played in it and climbed on it all my life. When we were kids, my grandmother had a big garden right through here. And this whole part here was a big garden. And she grew nuts, excuse me. And the peanuts, when she'd pull them, she'd throw them up on top of this old barn here. And we'd climb up on top of the barn and eat those green peanuts. It's a wonder we didn't get sick. She would fuss at us, but I think she did it. She knew we were going to do it anyway. Because <laughs> she fussed, but she never did get mad at us. So I guess that was a good thing. But talking about the old uh, walnut tree, when my mom and her sister first moved here, guys, they, um, you know how old people, elderly people used to take a razor blade and cut the calluses off of their feet well my mom told the story one time to us there's another little chicken following me around <laughs> she told us the story one time about trying to figure out where is the best place for there we go maybe that's the best place she told us about a, a story about how uh she taught her sister aunt joyce into coming out here and they were out here playing under this saw walnut tree and they decided she was going, my mom was going to cut the calluses off of her feet. Well, you know, when you're a kid, you don't have calluses on your feet like you, like elderly people kids. So she was whacking on her foot and cut off about half her heel back there. I thought her mom, aunt, my grandmama, we called her nanny. I thought, mama said she thought her nanny was gonna beat her to death. She said that's the hardest whooping she ever got in her life. And she said she very seldom got them. But when she did get one, it was always for my nanny. And my, my granddaddy, we called him granddaddy. And he never spanked neither one, not Aunt Joyce or my mom when they were kids. So I just thought that was a cute little story to tell you guys about, about the walnut tree. 